All right, so Matthew, one piece, 1,053. What a... Uh, Spoiler and, warning! And, and, Spoiler warning for everyone. Um, so make sure that uh, if you haven't read it already, please go and read it before we start talking about it. So um, you've been given your warning. So chapter one, one piece, chapter 1,053. Spoilers. Starting now in three, two, one, and here we go. So Matthew, um, uh, you know, there's just so much to cover in regards to. So I'm just gonna pull up the uh, the notes from the the One Piece wiki, and um, I think uh, one of the first things to kind of, um, you know, it's not a very big thing, but uh, we do have a name for at least one CP0 uh, agent. Uh, besides Rob Lucci, um, so the guy who was uh, trying to talk to the Elder Stars, I think, the Gorose, so his name is uh, Guernica, I think, and uh, when I was looking up his... He's the guy with the tiki uh, mask, right? Yeah, he's, he's got, he's, he's the one with, uh, he's the one with one of the tiki masks, and uh, apparently according to the trivia on his wiki, uh, Probably a reference to the Pablo Picasso painting Guernica, which depicts the bombing of the vast town of the same name by Nazi Germany and fascist Italy at the request of Francois Bain, which is interesting. Um, so you got that, but... It wait, looks like there's wait, 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 wait. Front on Requested by who? It says Francois Bain. Was he before F Franco? Because I know Franco wasn't the first guy to start the the, the revolution and represent the the, the republic. Mm -hmm. The Francois dictatorship was the period of Spanish history between thirty nine and seventy five when Francisco Franco ruled Spain with the title Caudillo. After his death in 1975, Spain transitioned into a democracy. Okay, so, so it was Franco. Yep, it was Franco. Yeah, Spanish Civil War was essentially a, uh, a um, dress rehearsal for in Europe for the um, for World War II. Because you, yep. you had the Italians and um, Nazi Germany uh, basically... Um, practicing and using their testing their equipment against um the um soviet back socialists mm -hmm. so that's that's uh interesting so anyway but i think the people who are really panicking are the good old thing because they issued the new wanted posters and um they put out you know, Luffy's poster has the Nika picture, and then the they they wanted the D erased from his name, but uh, bad news, Morgans. That. Yeah, so shout out to bad news, you know, big news, Morgans. Big actually. news, Morgans. <laughs> but that's a good one too. Bad news, Morgans. <laughs> that's a good one too. Uh, but uh, you know. He uh, he really likes to, even though sometimes he's a manipulator. He he uh, he really likes the the truth to get out there. He likes a little bit of chaos. And uh, with something really big news to him, man, he's really gonna roll with news. Well, he, for him, big news sells. Obviously, big news. So he's gonna go with whatever. All right. So in this case, and uh, as man, we've established, he it's like. He's one of the few people that the um, world government has not been able to get a hold of. Right. It's like you you know you know they want they want to get a hold of him and make him go away. They want to hide him in level six of El Impel Down. They want to bury him in there and they just want to let him rot. But it's like it's like who who cares what reason. They want to put. They want to get him. They want to put him in impel down level six, and they want him to rot. Well, they did track him one time because there was a cypher bull agent that infiltrated his uh, uh, 
you know, they infiltrated his organization. Um, you know, but he ended up the World Economy newspaper. Uh, but yeah, he uh, he did defeat that cyberpol agent. So, but it's uh, like that's a very interesting name because that newspaper talks about a lot more than than just the World Economy. <laughs> So, the, there's three bounties that have been issued. Um, I'm very sure that post-break from Oda, I'm very sure that the other um, crewmates will all get new bounties. But three big ones, Law, Kid, and Luffy all have bounties of three billion berries. What was our predictions? So, I know that you said that Luffy was going to get to probably four point something, and I said probably three. So, it looks like I had that one. We didn't really make any predictions for um, Law and Kid. Uh, I find it um, interesting that they're both, um, they both have the same one, but just jumping up ahead, oh. one of them's the em- is the new emperor of... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll and be there's... getting into the, the, the Emperor. The Emperor discussion we'll be getting into a bit later, but yes, Luffy is, has the name one of the new Emperors, but the other two aren't. Um, but, so I've been, you know, I, I watched some other, you know, more bigger One Piece um, content uh, YouTube creators, uh, you know, and they're all giving all sorts of uh, reasons as to why would... Uh, Luffy, Law, and Kid all be on the same level in, in terms of bounty. And, uh, you know, because Luffy's bounty jump is really the smaller, uh, you know, compared to Law and Kid, because they both Law and Kid at, um, I think it was five, Law had, I think, 500 million, and Kid, I think, had something like 440 million before this new bounty. Now, obviously, you know, Law and Kid getting to that level obviously is because they defeated Big Mom, which uh, you know, I I completely understand that. And then, um, but I'm wondering if the world government doesn't want to push Luffy too much ahead, you know, because he ended up defeating Kaido. It's hard to hard to tell, you know, there's a lot of people saying a lot of stuff about, well, maybe the world government is trying to hide something. Of course they're always trying to hide something. So. Bless you. Excuse me. So, when we get in, so, you know, you get into this about the, the jumps and stuff, so obviously, you know, it's a lot better jump for Law and Kid, and then, you know, kind of towards the end of the chapter, Kid, because he saw that Luffy is a Yonko now, and the bounty is like, so now Kid wants to try and take out Luffy, and then Luffy grabs Kid, and he wants to celebrate with him, and stuff like that. It's, there's this really... It's like, sorry, it's like, it's like, yeah, it's like, sorry, Kid, you're, you're, um, uh, you barely know how to use, um, what's it called, um... Conquers hockey. Luffy. Well, here's the thing. I, I, Luffy does not view Kid as an enemy. Oh yeah, that's true. So, even if Kid wanted to fight Luffy, Luffy would not, um, you know, entertain that possibility. Which is funny. You know, it's a funny thing that that's going on. Um, so I don't know what. It, what do you think so far about, you know, the fact that, hey, it's three billion berries for all three of them so far? Um, you know, I was watching Grand Line Review, and he was talking about how um, though their cumulative, um, their cumulative um, bounties kind of reflects the cumulative bounties of the two people they def- jointly defeated. Right. right. So... Well, yeah, that's, that's interesting. But I still think it's fun. I still think it's interesting... But I think it's probably more. Um, I know I keep jumping forward, and you want to, um, and you'll you want to have a discussion about the the Yonko later. But I think um, 
the fact that even though they all have the same amount of um, the same bounties that uh, Luffy is considered a Yonko now is probably more having to do with influence than anything else. Yeah, that's very, very true. Yeah, I can, I can see that as a... Because uh, like, just throwing an example out there, you know, Mihawk, for all we know, might have a, a, a um, bounty that's bigger than... Um, I, I definitely want to see what Mihawk... Mihawk, for all we know, could have a bounty that's bigger than Luffy... He might have something that's like equivalent to like Shanks or something like that. But he's a he's a um he's a um he's a lone wolf. So it's more to do with influence than anything else. I mean, even though um cuz Duffy has the Grand Fleet. So right. automatically the fact that he has the Grand Fleet um is pro and he created this giant alliance he has the ability to create, you know, alliances that you know everyone else just doesn't. He can't. It's when you know to the point where Law was the one who reached out to him. Luffy went into Empel down by himself. He came out with an army. Right. And it's it's you know. Um, well, and then and then he's got the the, the straw hat grand. Well, and that that's another thing. He went in to um, dress Rosa with his crew. He comes out with the Straw Hat Grand Fleet. So he's able to create alliances in ways that just everyone else can't, not even Law. And Law's more level-headed and, um, you know, um, is able to act, you know, is, is more level-headed and is... is um, to a degree, probably more intelligent, but Luffy is able to do stuff that, you know, um, Law can't. Definitely not Kid. So well, it, I so think it I, comes down more to influence than anything else. Well, I calculated. I calculated Kaido and Big Mom's uh, total bounty, and it came out to eight billion nine hundred ninety-nine billion one hundred thousand. So roughly about nine mil billion. Right. So basically, the three, the kid, law, and uh, Luffy combined is now nine billion. So that's interesting. So moving on to some other stuff that uh, I thought was interesting. So, and uh, I know a lot of people were. I was reading. You know, I was listening to some other people like. Uh, you know, you've got teching. You got Bravo DA, some other people you know, talking about Sabo. Um, and this is something that I, would, that I probably would have missed, but you know, they're talking about how uh, Sabo is kind of playing into this too because of, uh, you know, they, there's like some country that had a picture of Sabo uh, up in, uh, you know, up on a wall. A on yeah, a wall, yeah. I, 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 yeah, Grandland Review pointed that out as well. And uh, so they're saying, oh, you know, it's, it's probably, and again, you know, there's no telling what's happened to Sabo because of, you know, there's obviously there's a lot of hints and stuff here and there, but there's, there's no way to confirm it without really Oda telling us what really happened to him. You know, he could be captured, he could be dead. You know, there's a lot of stuff regarding, you know, that BB might have been taken out. Um, you know, because there was the incident at the reverie, there's just no way of knowing them. But a lot of people are wanting to speculate on it, which is perfectly fine. I just can't say for sure at this point. So. Yeah, that's just an unknown I, that we're just going to have to wait and see. Yeah, I, I think it, it, it's kind of at that point right now. Um, so. Gene Bay's kind of at, uh, you know, he's at the Capitol, uh, just waiting for the rest of the Straw Hats to, uh, you know, stop uh, partying outside and, uh, you know. Coming to the Luffy, formal banquet. Luffy, Chopper, and, and, um, and um, Yamato, they're all getting um, Matsuri festival food. 
and uh, Brooke is, is having a... Uh, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's almost a bun season, and there's actually a few um, uh, temples up here that have a bun. So, I don't know if I'm going to Visalia or Fresno. Might also depend on our Hawaii trip, but... Yeah. That's true. Um... Uh, you know, the, um, uh, again, depending on our Hawaii trip, um, if, uh, you have time, there is an Obon festival at the, um, Orange County Buddhist Temple in Anaheim. Don't know if you've ever been there. I went there a few times when I was, I was down there. I was living down there. Yep. Um, so we got... Nico Robin, doing what Nico Robin does, but she's at, a, at an island, and uh, she found a poneglyph and uh, beneath the castle. Um, but then the, the Tengu master comes up, but I think the thing that really shocked me was the fact that when he takes his mask off, he is revealed to be Kozuki Sukiyaki, who is the father of Kozuki Oden and the grandfather of Momonosuke and Yori. And, uh, you know, the fact that he is alive all this time. Now, a lot of YouTubers are saying, hey, people are speculating that, you know, that he was alive. And, um, you know, a couple of interesting you know, reasons were given as to why Kaido and um, Orochi kept him alive. Uh, you know, because, like, for example, Kozuki Sukiyaki would have been the one to have taught Oden how to read the phonic list. So... You know, the fact that Yaki can read Poneglyph is probably the reason why Kaido and Orochi left him alive, because they needed a way to read the Poneglyph that was there. Well, the big reveal about Poneglyph is the fact that the Pluton is actually on Wano. You know, um, Grandline Review pointed out that even if Robin had revealed that to, um, what's his name? Um... Crocodile? Crocodile? He wouldn't have been able to get a hold of it. No, he wouldn't. It's, cause it's like, what, what's, it's, yeah, it's like Crocodile would have had to go into, would have had to march in, he would have had to get what was left of, um, Barrack Works and march right into to Wano. Barrack Works was never ever on the level of it's like what was he gonna do it's like as far as we know um crocodile didn't even have any hockey abilities whatsoever so what's he gonna do when he goes up against kaido who not who has who knows how to use um conquer's hockey as a weapon he's gonna he, he'd probably get one shotted as almost as similar as Luffy. Yeah, that would have, you know, um, now it, it, it really, it's really interesting how Oda is really able to tie certain things back, you know, several tens of volumes worth of content. He's able to tie something that goes way into the future back to the past. Hundreds of volumes. Yeah, now that we, yeah, now it's getting to that point. Yeah, hundreds of volumes. Imagine if Kaido had found out. I, you know, I wonder if that's what he meant when he said that I and Big Mom will rule the world. It's like, did he know? Uh, he probably, he probably did know. Uh, but probably the reason he didn't, he wasn't able to find it was because if you remember, Sukiyaki was able to escape. And uh, so that's probably what happened, that Sukiyaki was able to escape, and which is why Kaido find. I think it's funny how we kind of, how with the, the, the Kozuki uh, generations, we have a food uh, uh, theme going on there. Well, yeah, that's... Tsukiyaki you know, Oden... Uh, yeah, Tsukiyaki Oden Momo. <laughs> yeah. So... Then we get into finally the full face reveal of Roku Gyu, aka Green Bull, and his actual name is Aramaki. 
and uh, after he took out what was left of the um of the, of the beast, beast pirates. pirates yeah um but and uh so, like to me that's just amazing he took out it's like regardless of you know king and queen being um injured he took them out like they were nothing right um one of the things i i find interesting something is gonna happen so, some something is gonna something is gonna happen. He's not. He. I. I don't think he's gonna. He's gonna make it. Uh. I. I don't think he's gonna. Um. Cause he's been sent there to assassinate Doofy. Well, I, actually, and Doofy is actually acting on his own. If you remember, Sakazuki told him not to go there and not to do anything. So. I'm not sure what will happen, but, you know, he's obviously trying to do his thing. So, it did, were you the one who lined, outlined parallels to um, Kuzan yeah, going? So, I, I wonder if there's something similar going on, but I, 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 um... Probably another big reveal about a, you know, maybe another straw hat. That we don't know about. Maybe that's what Green Bull will say. Although I kind of doubt it. Wait, he said he's going there to clean up the the mess. Mm-hmm. So what exactly is he going there to clean? So uh, wait a minute, is he going there to assassinate Duffy? Yeah, it sure. It certainly looks like it because he's holding up Luffy's uh, wanted poster. So he's going to try and take out Luffy. Um, before we move on, though, I, I wanted to kind of point out that Oda is keeping up with the um, the theme of the Admiral, though, where he models them after, you know, old school Japanese actors. Oh, yeah. So in this case, Yoshio Harada um, played a character named Aramaki, in um, in a uh, in a samurai in an old school samurai. You know, I think Green Bull is on a similar spectrum of justice as um, uh, I forgot. Uh, was it Al Kichi? Um, actually, what 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 I've seen a lot of people saying is that he's on the same spectrum as. Which is absolute justice. Except, except that he, um, uh, except that he disobeyed Sakazuki's orders, which would line up if he were. Well, disobeying Sakazuki's orders doesn't necessarily mean that you're on the side of moral justice. He's he's going out there any means necessary. To what? Yeah, but why would he let? Um, I forget who's who's the blind admiral again. Why am I drawing a blank on his Fuji, name? Fujitora. Well, why would he let Fujitora go in when Sakazuki's orders were that uh, Fujitora can't go into a base until he brings Sakazuki the head of Luffy? Well, uh, I think that had nothing. That has nothing to do with Moro because technically Mari Mari Joa is not a marine base. So I think that's why uh, Lokugyu, Green Bull, I think could care less, you know, what Takazuki had to say. Well, he may be on a similar um, scale as Sakazuki, but not exactly, I, I, I think. Well, I think, I think we'll find out in the next chapter. We'll really find out where well, either way, he we know he means business. No, he does. Yes. So. Uh, oh, and so there's that theory that there's that theory that well, he hasn't said what his ability is, but that another theory I s- saw is that because he uh, the reason why he is able to not um, 
Like, I forgot if he said, how long did he say that he hadn't moved? Like three years that he had to I think the reason is that um, uh, with his ability, he's able to drain. Um, the theory is that right. he's able to drain things, so he doesn't have to eat. Right. He so can I get his nutrients by just draining um, things. Right. Not necessarily people, but definitely things. So the Ninja Pirate Mink Samurai Alliance uh, start a party, and then we see where Kid is going to try and take out Luffy, but then Luffy has other ideas, he just wants to party with Kid. So they, they obviously are celebrating now. And um, let's see here. So Kid shows Luffy the article that says, who all the four emperors are now, and uh, like we mentioned earlier, Luffy is one of the new four emperors, and the thing we had said was, hey, there might be a possibility that there's going to be more than four emperors. Well, the group is saying the Yonko, the four emperors, so Matthew, <laughs> oh boy, yeah, this one I could not believe, but Matthew, I think it goes back to what you were mentioning about having influence and uh you know i think it all comes down to gathering people to your side so let's kind of go through each of the ones before we reveal the final yonko so you got luffy you know he's able to really get people to want to fight with him work with them you know you've got his crew you've got all these countries that want to you know remain loyal to him I mean, obviously, I think Fishman Island is going to be the first of, of, you know, the protectorate of Luffy's team. I think Wano is going to be an ally, too. You're probably going to have um, Alabasta as an ally as well, you know, um, even though they're on the, in the first half of the Grand Line. And, um, you know, there's no telling if, you know, BB is probably okay or not. Dress Rosa. Yeah, Dress Rosa is another one. So, you know, you've got Luffy there. And then you've got Marshall D. Teach, a.k.a. Blackbeard. You know, he has this charisma about him of being able to gather people to his side. I mean, you look at the fact that he, you know, recruited these deadly criminals from Impel Down. And then he's recruiting a whole bunch of other pirate crews. Took, took uh, Whitebeard's territory. Yeah, he took over Whitebeard's territory. More like the annex you know, their territories and such, uh, because it definitely was not a peaceful takeover. We, we know that for a fact. He's got the 10, what was it? I think it's called the 10 giant ships or something. Um, I thought they were the 10 generals. I think it's like the 10 colossal captains or something. Something to that effect. Which are the, um, uh, the uh, uh, each each one of the, the um, Yonko have their their right. um, crews divided in different ways. Um, Whitebeard right. obviously had the divisional uh, commanders. Uh, oh, Blackbeard has the ten Titanic captains. Well, let's see. Did um, did uh, did Big Mom have any? Um, uh... Well, she had the she had the three sweet commanders, which was um, Katakuri. Uh, you know, was obviously the leader. Um, and then there was his other two siblings. And then you've got, like, the minister, the ministries, you know, within Pato Land. So you had that. Um, but, and then Whitebeard, the, the divisions. Uh, I think the interesting one, though, was... Uh, Kaido. I don't know that... Well, yeah, and then Kaido had his, um, you know, three uh, commanders... But he also had the, um, uh, what was the group called? Oh, the, the Tobiroko. Yeah, he had the Tobi, Tobiroko. Right, which are like the, I don't know what they were called, the entertainers or something. The performers, the lead performers. They, they, they were pretty much, they were pretty much sub-commanders. Right. Now, the interesting one, though, is Shanks. Shanks doesn't really have any, you know, there's still not a lot known about Shanks. 
can't really say whether or not. We don't even know if there's like any other crews that are attached to the red-haired pirate. But yet, Shanks himself, very charismatic, very influential. I mean, he can, he can go into Marijuana and not have any repercussions, and then he he can go and have an audience with the with the Gorose. He's just that influential. But you know, the, 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 there's still very much a mystery to Shanks and how far his reach is, whether he's got these other coups allied with him, you know, what kind of territories is he overseeing? There's really nothing that shows that, you know, how far his influence is stretching. All we know is, uh, who's, who's, who's the, the Duffy fanboy? Oh, Bartolomeo. All we know is Bartolomeo invaded his territory. Well, I mean, Bartolomeo may, may know some things about Shanks if, if you know, he's catching, keeping up with Luffy. And so, yeah, we'll probably see Barto here, you know, soon, too. The Barto Club. Yeah, the Barto Club. So, Matthew, which means our last um, young call, um, quite unexpected, but when you then when you step back and you think about it, <laughs> Um, you know, I thought, hey, maybe Law and, um, Law and, uh, Kid might be in there, and then, you know, like I said last week, I thought that maybe, hey, Mihawk will be up there, maybe Boa Hancock will be up here, but, um, you know, uh, Goda, as people call Oda, with his just ability to surprise people. So, Matthew, who is our last emperor of Buggy the Clown. <laughs> and um, I think, well, okay. Buggy the Clown, I mean, his connection to Shanks, I gotta imagine that was a factor. His being in, in you know, part of the, the Pirate King's crew. Um, and then his ability to recruit people to, because of his reputation, is my guess as to, which means that he had to have survived that battle versus the Marines. Because remember, the Marines sent a, a fleet of ships after him uh, when they when they abolished the Shibuka. Yeah, but as, as I recall, didn't he, um, wasn't he planning on running? Yeah, he was planning on running. So, you know, what happened that he was able to survive that? I mean... Did he actually run away, or did his crew, you know, from Buggy's delivery, did they actually win that, that battle? Well, yeah, and that is another thing we have to take into consideration is that giant impel down breakout crew stayed loyal to him. And most of them had bounties a lot larger than he did. So he had this giant... Uh, yeah, so he, he, there were basically three factions that came out of the, um, I don't even know if it, it would be that generous. There were two huge factions that came out of the, um, if we talk about total factions, like three or four, but there were two huge factions that came out of the, uh, uh the Impel Down break. That is the, um, the Newcomer Army that joined, um, that joined, Luffy. what? That joined Luffy, right? No, that after um, the Battle of Marineford uh, followed Ivankov back to. Um, uh, oh yeah, so they they joined the revolutionary. Army. Yeah, they they joined the revolutionary army, and then you had the other group that are just solely the, um, you know, the people that that jailbreaked including the former Mr. Three, and they joined Buggy. And basically right. expanded his, his crew to, I, like, four or five times what it was, and inclu including his, his, his current crew with Alvida. Right. And there were, uh, apparently there were a lot of level six convicts in, in that group, too. And then, five, and then, um, uh, his, um, and then, um, his uh the crew that um and then we have to remember that 
during after when he was a Shiba guy, he had two years to develop this giant network. Mm-hmm. So all those factors going into consideration, if he survived the battle or if he somehow won, then it, I guess it would make sense that he would become a, a Yonko. Well, and apparently he had already started a power vacuum based on his... Because apparently, and, and I don't know if this was true or not, but I thought I had heard somewhere, he probably did have connections to the underworld. And he was starting a power vacuum into the underworld based on the um, vacancy left by Doflamingo when he was. Yeah, Doflamingo did have uh, quite a bit of influence. So, an interesting thing. So, in you mean case, he was making a power grab? Yeah, power grab. So, in the case of Buggy coming an emperor and, and a lot of people are like oh this is Oda memeing on the fan base but basically Bucky becoming an emperor means that this is the second former Roger crewmate to be an emperor he's also the second former Shibukai after Blackbeard to become an emperor um, The but the one interesting thing is that you know since first came on to the series we've never seen what his current bounty is so like the, the you mean after you mean after after um uh that we saw his bounty in um uh in east blue yeah we've never seen his increased bounty so his bounty at least canonically has remained the same Blue, which is 15 million. Which is pitiful compared to today's standards. And you know, maybe Bucky was able to level up in some way. We don't know. But I, certainly not to the level of the other three. And I'm kind of surprised that, you know, maybe, maybe another thing that happened was maybe Bucky did propose an alliance with Shay. And maybe the WG caught word of that. They were like, we can't let that happen, or something along those lines. I mean, I would not be surprised if that might... Uh, I think it's still a possibility in the future that Buggy and Shane could ally together. Maybe they might ally because they want to defeat Blackbeard. Who knows? That's... Uh, we could see three of them, because uh, Doofy might join in, because he's got unfinished business with Blackbeard. I mean, there's still so many potential battles ahead because you've got, you know, I'm very sure that Luffy's got unfinished business with Sakazuki, you know, because Sakazuki was the one who killed Ace. So I'm very sure that there's going to be, you know, hey, maybe there might be a second Marine Corps based on, hey, if they captured Sabo, maybe they're going to execute him. I I don't know how Oda would fit that in the story. I mean, you still got to go to Elba. You know, everyone keeps talking about Elbaf. I don't know if it's going to happen. I really don't. I know everyone keeps emphasizing it, but I, it's just, I, I'm i not sold on the idea that Elbaf is going to happen. I, I, I'm, I'm really not sure Elbaf is going to happen. You still have to, you still have to have your battle with Teach. Oh yeah, that definitely. There's at least two major battles that are going to happen. There could be a third one because you still have Im and the Gorose. I think the Im Gorose battle is probably gonna coincide with the Sakazuki battle. I really do think that's gonna be one giant all-out battle of just world government against um, Luffy and everyone else. And Everyone that aligns with them. They still, they still have to find out the secret of the king. They still have to find out where the lost kingdom is. They still have to find out stuff about the voice center. I mean, we still got, even though we're now going to be getting into the last part of the series, there's still a lot of things to pack in there. We could still be seeing this going on for another, hey, five years. 
You know, um, I'm... Now, I forgot, uh, what's the, what's the master poneglyph? That's the real poneglyph. I really think the real poneglyph is on, um, uh, Laugh, Laugh Tale. Uh, yes, that could be a consideration, because I think, I think, when, when, um, because Shanks talked about it, and not Shanks, Oda talked about it, I think Gold Roger talked about it, and I think, uh, what's the name, Silver's Ray Lee talked about it, too. They found out the true history, but at that time, they knew that they could not do anything about it. Yeah, and, well... Because it wasn't, it wasn't the right time yet. Well, and let's be honest, the right time might be, it's like we've, we, you know, we've talked about Joy Boy and how the, um, the model Nika fruit is essentially the reincarnation of Joy Boy. That might, there might be something needed to activate something and the key is the model Nika fruit. It's possible that, so it's possible that when Nuffy gets there, he's going to have the ability to activate whatever it is that's going to change the world. That's going to be able to do something about it. And for all we know, it's going to be, um, let's see, there's Pluton, Poseidon, and what's the third uh, ultimate weapon? Pluton, Poseidon. Ancient weapons. So the ain't. Oh, and Uranus. The Pluton is the. Ship. What? What if? What if the Nika fruit is Uranus? Good question. Um, it, 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 I, I mean, I mean, I mean, was... I mean, think, think about it. Pluton's a ship. Poseidon is whoever has the ability to talk to the sea kings and control it, them. It, it's gonna be, and it's gonna be a mermaid. Yes, it's gonna be a mermaid. Oh. And in this case, it's in in this generation, Shiao Hoshi. What if Uranus is the model Nika fruit, which has abilities that are incomprehensible, according to the Gorose? Right, because. There, there isn't really anything that Uranus is only stated as to be an ancient weapon, but there's there's no real details into what specifically Uranus is. Well, and let's be honest, we don't know why Roger teamed with Garp at God Valley. They knew something, and everyone else, the top people, know something. John, your your phone's falling over. They know something, and the, the, the top people in the world government know something that everyone else does not. Why would a pirate team with a Marine who is a moral justice guy who does not believe in slavery, believes it's immoral, that it, it's, it could not have more de, uh, of a detested uh, man towards the, um, the celestial dragons? The, the world nobles. Why would two people like that partner up to fight the most dangerous crew that the world had known at the time to prevent to prevent them taking over the um, an island that was inhabited by the world nobles and their slaves? I think something was hidden there. I really do think something was. I think something was there. What's it? Um, Rocks wanted it, and it seems well, like I, Rocks I, might I have been. Del- and it seems like Rocks may have been the only one who knew what it was because we don't hear the. Uh, we don't hear Kaido talk about it. We don't talk about. We don't hear um, Lin Lin talk about it, and we don't hear Whitebeard talk about it. But it's possible they knew something that was 
he knew something that was there. He wanted to get it, and Roger and Garp knew about it, and they said, we need to, for the greater good of humanity, we need to fight him, we need to stop him from getting whatever it is. Which for all we... I'm, I'm almost curious if maybe... I'm almost curious if maybe... Um, what's his name? Uh, Rocks. He definitely probably had some connection to the, the Gomu Gomu no Mi, a.k.a. the human human fruit model Nika. You think he might have been the possessor of it at the time? There's a lot we don't know about rocks, and what it, whatever battle that was, it you know Garp as Garp as a what? How how old is he? Um, after the timescape, Garp is in his like seventies or eighties. Garp and Garp being as old as he is is still powerful. What? So you can only it. Um, God Valley happened how many years ago? Over 40 years ago. Over 40 years ago. Garp, it, at that point, was in his 40s or possibly even 30s. He's in his prime. So... He's 78 after the time skip. Yeah, so what is... So, yeah, he was 38 at the time of God Valley. So what was it that would have been... So how powerful is Rocks that it, it pushed... Garp to his limits because we've seen pictures of him. He was ble battered and bloody when he finished that. He got the scar right here because of that God Valley battle. So how powerful was Rocks that he had, or who, or who else did he fight? Did he have to fight one of these other people? And we also know that we also know that you know, Gold Roger. And Goldie Roger and Garp both are not as well. We know that Roger definitely was not a, a um, fruit user, but from what we can tell, neither was Garp. So how powerful were? It's like how powerful? It's so it's yeah. It's it's just one of those things where I think mo I've. Almost everything will be answered by the end of... Uh, I, I don't think we're going to know some things like the, the tall being in um, Thriller Bark. But I think we'll know a lot of answers before the, the series is done.